Ikhwan, if we're saying we fight the, this violence, we're against it. We have to be against anyone who promotes that message. Not that your child sees you running after them in the street. Or if you look at your Twitter feed, you don't retweet Sheikh Fawzan. You do not retweet Sheikh al Luhaydan, But you find all day you're commenting upon what's going on in the rap world. Your child sees it. Choices, decisions. Then we can't blame everyone else. If I, for example, if I choose that I am going to show everyone I look up to these rappers and I chase after what they're chasing after and then my children see that and then my children, they want to be involved in that lifestyle, who should I start to blame first? And obviously, yes, there's the other side. Parents strive their best for their children, but their children make ridiculous decisions. Choices, decisions. Brothers and sisters, ask the teachers. Ask Ustad Ihsan. Ask Ustad Muhammad. Ask Hamza, Abu Hamza. Ask Ustad Tawfiq. Ustad Tahir. Likewise, Muawiyah. Likewise, Ustad Muhammad. Nasir. These are the brothers who are teaching your children. These are the brothers who are teaching your children. 160 students from amongst the males, from amongst the boys. Ask them. They told me. They said majority of the problems that they have, the altercations, the disputes, the fighting, it's from the music culture. We've had incidents of some of the young boys, and these are good boys, talking about that they're looking for guns because they got some street beef. And they're 12 and 13 or 14. Others talking about, I didn't even know the word, that basically... You need to have your pole referring to a gun. These terms are foreign to us. Where is it coming from? The music. These are the people that are teaching your children. And they're telling you that this music, this culture, but this culture of violence and glorifying violence and glorifying gang affiliations, that's what's killing our kids. As parents, if we are not willing to stand up and say enough is enough, to fight it, to stand in the face of it for our own children who are being killed and murdered on a daily basis, then I don't know what you will fight for. You have no allegiance or loyalty to anyone if you don't have it to your children.